All right, hello everybody. In this video, we're gonna go over how to locate the horizontal asymptotes of your rational function. Um, if you look at these graphs, these are just two examples from our previous videos and notes. Um, now on this formula right here, your horizontal asymptote is at y equals one. And in this graph right here, your horizontal asymptote is at y equals zero, okay? Uh, this is just two examples of horizontal asymptotes and where they are. Let's go ahead and fill out the notes about the horizontal asymptotes. Um, essentially, let me see, let me close that. A rational function of f of x will have a horizontal asymptote if f of x approaches a limit as um, the x values approach positive infinity or negative infinity. Okay. So let's go back to our graphs and see what that means. Um, do you notice how uh, the m behavior as this is getting farther and farther along? So x is approaching positive infinity. This line is getting closer and closer to this dotted line. And over here at negative infinity, as it's getting going farther and farther this way, it's also getting closer and closer to this asymptote. Same thing over here, okay? So those are approaching a limit. Um, so anytime you have that situation, then you're going to have a uh, horizontal, some sort of asymptote. Most likely it'll be horizontal. One method for approximating the limit is to create an M behavior table for a function using extreme positive and extreme negative values for X. So if you forgot the rules that I'm going to show you in a little bit, um, and you just wanted to like look at the graph and look at really big numbers for um, X to see what your value was, you could. You could pull up a table. It's a lot of work. It's much easier uh, just to jot down the, the um, notes here and make sure you understand them, and then it's super easy to find your horizontal asymptote. Okay, so the shortcuts to f determine the horizontal asymptote are you have to look at your degrees of the numerator and of the denominator. Okay, so if the degree of the numerator is less than, so whatever the numerator's degree is less than the denominator's degree, then the function will have a horizontal asymptote at, excuse me, y equals zero. You don't have to do any type of equations whatsoever. Just if the degree of the numerator is less than the degree of the denominator, your horizontal asymptote is at y equals zero. So let's go back to our graph. This graph has a horizontal asymptote at y equals zero. If you look at your equation, your numerator's degree here is one, the denominator's degree here is two, and so the numerator's degree is less than the denominator's degree, and your horizontal asymptote is just at y equals zero. Okay, super easy, really not a whole lot of math there to figure out. Now, another thing is if your numerator's degree is equal to the denominator's degree, then you, to find your horizontal asymptote, this time you will have to go ahead and do some math. You're going to take the ratio of the leading coefficients of the numerator and divided by the denominator. Okay, so let's go back and look at our formulas. Okay, so if our degrees are equal, remember we are looking at our degrees. Let me do that there. Okay, so your degree here is one, the degree here is one. So those degrees are equal then you would take the fraction of your leading coefficients, okay, and let's see, yeah, that's what I want. So the fraction, this leading coefficient is one, and this leading coefficient is one. So my ratio is just gonna be my numerator's leading coefficient divided by the denominator's leading coefficient, and in this case, it just gives us a one, and if you look right here, your horizontal asymptote is at one. Okay, it is a little bit of extra math, but not really very, very rough. All right, so we've talked about if your numerator's degree is less than the denominator's, if the numerator's degree is equal to the denominator's, and the third possible outcome is if the numerator's degree is greater than the denominator's, okay? Anytime that happens, you will not have a horizontal asymptote. What you will have instead is either a slant or oblique Sometimes it's also called diagonal asymptotes or end behavior asymptotes. 
I'm not going to show you how to find your oblique or end behavior asymptotes in this video. I just need you to be aware of the three possible outcomes with the denominator and numerator's degree. Either numerator is less than the denominator, and there's your horizontal asymptote. If they are equal to each other, you take the leading coefficients and divide them from each other. Um, if the numerator's degree is greater than the denominator, you don't have any horizontal asymptote. Don't try to calculate it at all. Okay, we'll get we'll cover that in another video. All right. So right here we have a couple of examples of different rational functions that you might see in this unit. Um, here, your degrees are equal to each other, and so you take your leading coefficients. So the four divided by the two. Okay. You get 4 divided by 2, and it just equals 2. You can reduce that pretty easily. And then, so the horizontal asymptote is at y equals 2. Now, this one down here, notice that you have a 16, but minus x squared. The exponent is squared here and squared here, so those are still equal to each other. Now, be careful. Some people want to do 5 divided by 16. 16 is not your leading coefficient. Your leading coefficient is negative 1. So it's going to be 5 divided by negative 1. In this case, it reduces to 5. So your horizontal asymptote is at y equals negative 5. Okay. These two examples, your degrees in the numerator is less than the degree of the denominator. So 2 is less than 3. Notice here I don't have a number. If you don't have a number, your exponent is 1. 1 is less than 2. So in both of those cases, your horizontal asymptote is at y equals 0. And then in these two cases, your degree here is 2, your degree here is 1. So um, the numerator is greater than the denominator. In this formula, or for this formula, you would have a diagonal, slant, or oblique asymptote. Okay, those, all those words mean the same thing. Um, and in this case as well, Degree here is 3, degree here is 2, 3 is greater than 2. So again, you're going to have um, diagonal asymptotes. All right, so video's over. Hope you've enjoyed it. Try to keep it short and sweet. Uh, make sure you have all these notes. You might want to go ahead and uh, write down some of these examples so you understand how, to, how the whole degree thing works and how you have to take your uh, leading coefficients over here. All right. See you tomorrow.